So story number four, John, we're going to go to you. This story is coming out of the Commercial Observer. Commercial Observer. And the headline is Florida's favorite lender. How Berkadia's Mitch Sinberg captured market share in South Florida. Here we go. First couple graphs, Sean, and I'll ask you to comment. Mitch Sinberg is riding high lately. After $6 billion in deal volume in 2021 and $5 billion in deal volume in 2022, the senior managing director of Berkadia, South Florida, has helped make his firm the top provider of commercial mortgages in the state. This year, Berkadia surpassed both JLL and CBRE in South Florida deal volume and has recently closed a number of high-profile transactions, including a $200 million recap of three multifamily properties in Orlando and Fort Myers and $215 million in construction financing in Miami's Wynwood Plaza. Sinberg sat down in late uh, July with commercial observer to discuss his career, how he built his team, the pros and cons of South Florida's market, and why multifamily is the hottest asset class in the game. John, I want to get your immediate reaction to that. And then after that, I'm going to come back and just read you uh, uh, part of the Q&A. Yeah. So, John, do you want to be Florida's most popular banker <laughs> at this moment in time in the Hell state of Florida? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Peter, did you know we were in a real estate recession? Like after, re after reading that headline, do you think people would get the impression that we're in a real estate recession? Well... This is like, you know, this is like a, a puff piece. Okay. Okay. You, 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 it's, it's like a puff piece about this guy in commercial real estate. Okay. And, and it starts out all rosy and all these deals and all of that. And then you get to the, to a part in the Q and A and I'm, I'm going to read this to us here. And it says here, it's it, the, the, the guy who's, who's um, the reporter is asking the question says, Talk to us about the South Florida market. What are the opportunities and pitfalls? And and the, and this guy answers nationally. We're in a real estate recession. Oh my God, we're in a recession. Uh, but the South Florida market would best be defined as less slow than the rest of the country. We've <laughs> we've certainly seen a significant decrease in transactions, but it's not because of population and economic growth. We have capital markets disparity that created a slowdown of transactions. So what he's basically saying and what we've what we know now is that the capital markets have basically shut down. Lenders are not financing projects. In fact, I think the South Florida Business Journal had a story last week that said that in South Florida, commercial real estate transactions were down 60 percent, six zero, 60 percent. Six yes, zero. 60 percent in the last quarter compared to the same quarter a year ago. And it doesn't have anything to do with the with the with the fundamentals of the market, population growth and and economic activity and all that. It's got everything to do with the financial markets and the rise in interest rates. And the fact of the matter is, is regulators are coming down hard on regional banks, which are the prime funders of commercial real estate projects like apartments and have come down hard on them and are requiring happy, you know, higher capital levels. And so all these lenders have been pulling back because um, they're really afraid of, that they're hitting the peak of the market. The, the other thing that's kind of crazy, and I, I saw this as well, I think in the, um, in the, in the South Florida Business Journal, um, it said that in South Florida, there's a pipeline of 55,000 apartments under construction. That's a lot of apartments uh, and they're currently under construction. So there may be even more in the pipeline. So you, that, you so that combined with the fact that projects don't pencil out anymore because primarily because of financing, because your financing costs have basically doubled, um, not to mention insurance and, and labor and all the things that David mentioned. Um, so projects are just not penciling out. So the fact of the matter is it's no surprise that commercial real estate projects um, six, a sixty percent decline in in commercial real estate deals. I mean, we are really in a real estate recession. He's right, but you wouldn't guess it from the from the headline, right? No, you would not guess it. And I wonder if I would want to be Florida's most popular banker, uh, given interest rates being what they are, given all the other challenges that we're facing. So, um, although Jean, just, just to clarify for the audience. This isn't an FDIC insured institution. This is not a bank with regulators. This is private no. money. 
basically that's able to put money on the street as they see fit, not as the well, regulators he's a broker. see fit, correct? He's a broker, so he brings the financing folks together with the developers. I mean, you know, they 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 bring people to the table, basically. So, you know, it could be it could be banks, it could be other sources of financing, it could be private investors, private equity, uh, insurance companies. But he mentions in the story that even those folks are pulling back. Um, institutional investors, you know, they're not they're 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 like the rest of us. They don't want to pay, uh, you know, uh, the top dollar at the peak of the market with the tsunami of inventory that's coming online. And like it's going it's only fifty five thousand, John, only <laughs> fifty five thousand. It's going to drive rents down. You know, your projects are not penciling out. That's it's just um, yeah, it, that's why the market is basically frozen.